Okay, so it is some exciting times. Some new stuff in terms of what CIG has been working on. Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 and some new updates pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 1.0. Let's get into it. Before we get started, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys, so we're going to be quick with this one um it's quite a few things to cover so let's just get straight into it for the monthly uh report for the pu um under ai tech it says here on the ship ai side functionality was added to point defense cannons that allows them to track and shoot missiles so this gives me indication that they're prepping this for the rsi polaris that's what i think this is for yeah i, I would love to have a ship that has ai uh, turrets installed so that'll be that'll be awesome all right up next is ai uh, game intelligence development tool it seems like they're adding a new team and their objective is to in uh to work on long-term ai functionalities including quantum simulation uh the battle system and the commenter model not sure what that is but that's what they've been working on the animation team continue to fix uh technical issues with the copian animate assets and create new animations for numerous creatures under character arts the character art team progressed with three specialist armors finalize the updates to the utility armor i can't wait for these to be quite honest i want to see how they look um i I'm, i want to use more utility armors instead of military armor all the time i think uh, it's uh, i feel like it's more realistic that way the character concept our team continued to explore designs for utility armors and complete handoff sheets for specialist armors uh while the hair team kicks off new beards and hairstyles so more customization for our characters cannot wait to see that i'm really curious to see the ideas they have for the specialist armors like i said uh we need that um, a lot in in the pu right now so under ship arts uh it says here the ship team progressed with the rsi polaris that's a big one they're getting close to finishing the interior for gray box review the exterior is heading towards the final content with the parallax occlusion mapping and lighting being completed the rsi zeus mark 2 is approaching its final content review that is awesome and they also says here seven unannounced vehicles have been worked on as well four of them are, is approaching white box review stage and two of them is heading towards uh gray box review and the last one is nearly finished so that is awesome so more vehicles as we can expect i suspect one of those uh no well, these are these are actually unannounced so that's going to be interesting okay all right so under core gameplay all right so they've been working on mailstorm so the development stream was recently published to the main internal branch this provides a fresh set of features such as the new unified mesh format grid with host object container support per mailstorm uh node for large vehicle destruction i cannot wait to see how this will look for radar and scanning, work was completed to allow FPS ping to be used uh, from certain seats. That is awesome. The first being in vehicle that lacks their own radars. Okay. Support began for new vehicle brackets, uh, including nameplates and distance. The parameters were added to control when and how they should show in different states, such as a targeted end pinned right now it's really annoying in the pu um when you run into players and there's a lot of them or even npcs there's tons and tons of white chevrons everywhere it's really annoying especially when they have the vehicle names up as well it's really really annoying so um cannot wait to see what this will look um once it's finally in the team submitted the framework for a system that will allow designs to begin tagging uh which scan producer specific radar runs for example medical scanners uh, may see health information while police scanners can detect contraband i cannot wait for this i cannot wait for this this is going to be so awesome where you're going to need specific ships or uh, dedicated modules in your ship to actually pick up certain information so you need that that means specialization essentially i cannot wait for that um support continue for radar with the room query system that allows the occlusion of people behind locked 
Wars. Next is Economy. The Economy team progressed with tasks for Pyro, including setting up the shops and sorting out any related issues. The team continues implementing the effort versus reward algorithm so that mission rewards are balanced according to risk and time invested by the player. The team's ongoing work involves a new economy for quantum and hydrogen fuel to ensure that refueling isn't a chore while maintaining the narrative feel of a large universe with a unique economy spread across different star systems. Good. I'm glad they're considering this because especially with engineering gameplay coming in, you don't want things to be too tedious all the time. It's, it's, it will be a turn off for many players. So hopefully they find a healthy balance uh, to keep us engaged, um, but also not to make it too tedious. Okay. So um, up next is graphics VFX programming in Planet Tech. It says GPU terrain generation was implemented as a stepping stone to the team's plan for fully GPU generated uh, virtualized terrain, which will utilize in Planet Tech V5. Finally, an efficient quarry mechanism is being designed and added to Planet. This will be used by the new location scattering tool that will help populate planets for Star Citizen Alpha. 1.0 not alpha probably it's going to be called beta i think um so we're going to see next is the in-game branding it says in-game branding team uh made significant progress across various projects throughout june including new navigational signage for pyro and graffiti for the ruined station work started on the new location alongside the landing zone team all right up next is location the organics team progress with asset creation for new biomes that will go on new planets in the future and lastly online technology the online service team will work towards completing the social service back and overhaul all right guys so that is essentially what cig has been working on uh for the past month all right before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and better players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one